Hi, our next problem is job sequencing with deadlines. This problem we are going to solve it using greedy method. So first of all, we will understand what the problem is. Already I have an example. Through an example, we'll understand what the problem is. Then we'll see how to solve it using greedy method. So let us know about the problem. See, here in example, five jobs are given. Five tasks are given. And if that task is completed, we will get this profit. So associated with each job, there is some profit. But that job must be finished within this deadline. It must be completed within the deadline. Like first job should be completed within a deadline two and deadline job two also two, job three is one. So like that every job is having some deadline. So the problem is jobs are given, every job is having some profit and if you complete the job, you will get the profit and you have to complete that job within a deadline. Now let us understand what all these means. Assume that, assume that there is a machine. On that each job has to be processed. Each job takes one unit of time for completion. This is the assumption. This is the assumption in the problem. Right? So what is this one unit? I will assume this as one hour. So on a machine, each job needs one hour for its completion. So you can take an example like a DTP operator or uh, see mostly for making a legal documents for on a bond paper you will find people in the market who will prepare documents suppose that preparation you take the job so he's a typist right and he completes each job in one hour that's it so that example you can take now what is the situation let us understand see assume that in the morning he has opened the shop the moment he has opened the shop, these five people are standing there for getting their jobs done. All right. So you have to take this situation to understand the problem. And each person is having his own deadline. He is saying that I want my job to be done first in first hour only. Can you do it or not? If you can do it, do it. And this person is saying that I'm ready to wait for three hours. No doubt my job needs only one hour, but I am ready to wait for three hours. Suppose it's morning nine o'clock. So he is ready to wait till 12 o'clock and he is ready to wait till 11 o'clock and he is ready to wait till 10 o'clock. So whose job should be done first? This job should be done first. But what is the profit we are gaining? If this job is done, let us say this is rupees and we get just 10 rupees. And if this job is done, then we get 20 rupees. So obviously, which job should be done first? Highest profit job should be done first. Yes. Now the problem is, we want the set of those jobs which can be completed within their deadlines such that the profit is maximized. The profit is maximized. So there's a maximization problem. And what is the constraint in the problem? Job must be completed within the deadline. All right. So this is suitable for greedy method because it is an optimization problem. It's a maximization problem. So we can apply greedy method. Now let us solve this problem using greedy method. Let us see how we can apply greedy method. So first of all, how many hours are available for that typist to complete the job? See one of the person or two people are ready to wait till 12 o'clock or for three hours. They are ready to wait. So after that, nobody is there. Suppose this is the only job that he have when he has opened the shop and he has to complete this within their deadline. So how many slots he is having? From 0th hour to 1st hour, one unit of time. In this hour, he can complete one job. Then 1st hour to 2nd hour, he can complete 2nd job. And 2nd to 3rd, he can finish 3rd job. So it means nobody is ready to wait beyond three units of time, three hours. So he has to finish 
jobs within these three slots only. If I give the time, this is 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock and this is 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock, 11 to 12 o'clock. Now there are only three slots, how many jobs he can do? Deadlines are giving just three slots, so he can do only three jobs. Out of five, he has to select just three, so that the profit is maximum. Now, if we apply greedy method, then on what basis we will select the objects? We will select the objects in the order of their maximum profit. So first maximum profit, then next maximum, next maximum and so on. So let us see how to solve this one. Who is having highest profit? This one. So you can see already that the jobs are already arranged in the decreasing order of the profit. So I have to consider them in the same order. This is having highest profit. Now I will select this job for completion. I will select it. I will not perform it. But in which slot I should do? He is ready to wait for two units of time. Means he came at nine o'clock. He is ready to wait till eleven o'clock, and his job needs only one unit of time. So let us do it in this slot. Now, let us pick up the next job. Second highest profit is 15. And what is his deadline? 2. Now, again go to 1 to 2. He is ready to wait till 11, 2 years of time. But this is already occupied. Now, see if there are any slots available on this side. Yes, it is available. So, that job 2 here. Now, let us select the next job. Third job. Its deadline is 1. Can we do it? Let us see. 1 means what? 0 to 1 within this one. No, this slot is already gone. So this job is rejected. We cannot do this job. So we have selected already these two jobs. Then what about this job? This can be done because the deadline is 3. So he is ready to wait till 12 o'clock or third unit. And every job needs one unit of time. Remember that. So we will do this in this slot. So that's it. And what about this job, third, already occupied? Is there any slot free on this side? No. If there is no slot available there, you can look for the slots in this side. So there is no job slot available. That's all. We have a solution. What are the jobs that we are going to do? We are going to complete jobs two, then job one and job four. And in which sequence we have to do them? So here, both the jobs are having deadline 2. So we can do them in sequence J1, then J2, then J4, or else J2 to J1, then J4. We can complete them in any of these sequences. So these are the sequences possible for completing those jobs as both are ready to wait for 2 hours. Total profit will be, this job is 20, and this job is 15, and the profit of this job is 5, so it is 20 plus 15 plus 5 is 40. So the total profit that we gain will be 40. Now let us solve this. Here I have a taken table. Now initially there is nothing and uh, there is nothing in the solution and the profit is also zero. Let us start. First which job we will consider? Job to be considered. First job. I'll write 1 or J1. First job I am considering. And first job, as the deadline is 2, we will assign a slot from 1 to 2. 1 to 2. You remember we have the slots from 0 to 1 and 1 to 2 and 2 to 3. Because the maximum deadline is 3 here. So these are the slots available. Now, solution. As this is included, we have allotted this slot. Job 1 comes into the solution. And what is the profit? 20 is the profit. So this first job is included. Then consider second job, okay, J1 I will write, J2. Can you assign a slot to this second job like J1 was here? Yes, J2 can come here. So we will assign a slot from 0 to 1 and already 1 to 2 was already assigned to this one. So already two slots are over you see. And we have the solution J1 and J2. How much profit we have? 20 plus the profit of the second job is 15. So this is 35. I am just keeping it as it is. Now next job to be considered. J3. Third job. Its deadline is 1. 0 to 1. Already occupied. So no slot is assigned. And everything remains the same. And the jobs are J1 and J2 only. And this is 20 plus 15 only. So this job is not included in the solution. 
Now next job, J4, J4. So we can assign a slot, 0 to 1 is already gone, 1 to 2 is already gone. J4 can be done in slot 2 to 3. So this is J4. So here we have 2 to 3. And the solution is having J1, J2. Job 4 is selected and it is 5. And job 5, it cannot be selected. So this remains same, this remains same. And this total will be 40. Total will be 40. I have taken one more problem for solving this using greedy method. It's a problem for job sequencing with deadlines. We have to follow greedy method. So we decided that we'll select the jobs in the decreasing order of their profits. And that's how we may be getting maximum profit. But the constraint is they have to be finished in a deadline. So how many deadlines are there here? What's the maximum time we have to submit any job? The maximum time a job can be submitted is four. So how many slots are available? Zero to one, then one to two, two to three, three to four. Maximum deadline, four. After that, nobody's ready to wait. The job should be completed within that four units of time. But every job needs just one unit of time. So how many slots we have with one one unit? Four slots we have. Now let us solve this by selecting the jobs. So the first job, first job, what is the deadline? Three. Is the slot vacant? Two to three. Means not beyond three. So two to three. Yes, job one can be done. And we got the profit 35. I'll write just below this one. Then next job, J2. Deadline is 4. So check 3 to 4. Yes, it's free. It can be done. So J2 and the profit that we got is 30. Then J3. J3. S deadline is 4. No, 3 to 4 is already occupied. Then check this side if it can be done early. Yes, already occupied. Here. Yes, it can be done. See, this means that this person is ready to wait for 4 units of time. So 4 hours. We can finish it early also. We don't have to do it in 3 to 4 slot only. We can finish it early also. No doubt he is ready to wait. But that slot already we are doing it for somebody else. So let us bring that one here. So this third job can be done here. And its profit is 25. Now J4. What is the deadline? 1 to 2. 2. 1 to 2 already occupied. But can it be done early? Yes, this slot is free. So job 4 can be done here and its profit is 20. Now job 5, job 6 and 7, I even don't have to check them because I see that all the slots are already occupied. So those jobs cannot be completed. So when we have limited slots and we have more jobs, then we have to select the job such that the profit is maximum. The final profit is add all these it is 110 that's all the problem is very simple to solve right once you understand the problem then it's very easy to solve that's all about job sequencing a deadline